What's up my salty boys and girls? My name's Gal. Welcome to the Rust Power Minute, where I have 60 seconds to teach you everything you need to know about a Rust electricity component. Coming at you every day till we're done. Starting with power sources, and the first cab off the rank is the wind turbine. Working day and night, a bit like your mum, she costs about 500 scrap at the bandit camp. Other than that, she can be found in superior crates or with oil rig scientists. Once you've got your hands on it, it's 125 scrap to research it. A bit of a tricky one to place, doesn't like uneven surfaces or crossing foundations, but does fit on one foundation or ceiling surface. We recommend that you stand far enough back that you can look at the horizon, makes placing it a lot easier. And just so you know, the wind can be blocked by other structures. Who knew? So build at least three foundations away from any raised surface. Wind power will be worse the closer you get to sea level, to fix this, you can either build tall structures to get a better breeze, you've probably seen these kinds of things around the place, or straight up live on a mountain. Depending on height, wind blockage, and the weather, you can get anywhere between 0 and 150 power out. Power comes out from the bottom. If you have more than one, they play nice with root combiners. Just remember that the wind is random, even at high elevations. Assume a minimum power flow and put essential circuits first in line, so that when power runs short, you're only losing a couple of lights or something non-essential. If you want to see more, do all the good things. Like and subscribe, tickle the bell, and if there's a particular circuit you want to see, leave a comment or visit our Discord. We're around pretty much every day, and I'll be honest, we're fairly bored.